Hey everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and today we're gonna to be looking at a video and I'm gonna come on screen here in a second showing you a video that I'm exporting in LumaFusion on the iPhone and iPad and DaVinci Resolve 17 for the um, PC, for Windows. And so it's an iPhone 12 Pro, it's an iPad Pro 2018 <laughs> and a, uh, a PC running a ninth gen Intel 6-core uh, processor and an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super GPU, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, SSD, all, all, the, all the things. Um, pretty good, not absolute top of the line, but a pretty darn good PC. And I'm rendering out the same video. So it's a nine minute video running at 3x speed and with some filters, some adjustments made to it. Um, and I'm gonna see which one exports quickest. And so this is a really common uh, benchmark to see like how fast a processor is. And I'm doing it because of Apple Silicon. And you may be asking why Apple Silicon? Why is that the thing that's making you talk about this? The reason is Apple announced new computers, their new MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Mini, and they threw out a lot of numbers with their move to Apple Silicon. So these computers all used Intel processors for the past 15 years, and Apple's moving to their own Silicon, their own systems, ARM-based systems, and the first versions are releasing next week, and they seem crazy fast. Apple threw out numbers like 2x, 3x, 10x faster than what came before. So compared to the previous models of these computers, we can be pretty darn sure they're gonna be really fast. But when they compared them to the rest of the market, it was a little more vague. <laughs> it was a little more, here's a chart with no numbers on either axis, and we're showing you how they perform against some other device. It's a, the top selling laptop, the most comparable laptop. Uh, like they, they didn't say like exactly what model they were comparing it to, what processors they were comparing it to. So it was left a lot to the imagination, right? It left us to figure out, well, what does that mean? Like how fast is that? How performant is that? Um, how efficient is that? And so there's lots of people making theories out there. And I guess I'm making this video not to show um, what the answer is because I don't know what the answer is. I haven't used one of these machines. I haven't had it enough, uh, enough time, because it's zero time, uh, to actually tell you how fast it is. I just know that they're gonna be good, but how good, I don't know. So I guess what I would say is if you see people comparing um, video rendering performance like I'm doing right now, take that with a grain of salt <laughs> because uh, the iPad is gonna finish first, the iPhone is gonna finish second, and then long after that, and we're just filling time really until the PC catches up, the, uh, the PC will do it far slower. And so there's a multitude of reasons for that, why that could be the case. And it, I don't think the takeaway is, wow, the iPad is the fastest, the iPhone is second fastest, and that PC is incredibly slow, throw it in the trash. I think that's not the way to look at it because the video that we're recording, that we're rendering out, is a nine minute clip from Microsoft Flight Simulator, a PC game that runs any hardware really hard in 2020. And so my computer can run the game. It can run it at 60 frames per second. I have to lower a couple settings and everything, but I can run it at 4K, 60 frames per second. And you know, it's a challenge for it, but it can do it. Whereas if you look at what the flight simulators on the iPad and iPhone look like, it's not even close. They're completely different leagues. So take that with a grain of salt. While the, while the computer is looking real bad right now because it's not able to render out video as quickly as the iPhone and iPad, that doesn't mean there's other things it can do that are better. So it can play games much better, it can do some other GPU intensive tasks better, but it's not able to do some other things as fast. So, so ultimately what I'm saying is that let's test them out. Let's see how things go. <laughs> let's not jump to any conclusions about how great it's gonna be, like how it um, obsoletes the entire Intel market and there's no room for anything else right now. Let's wait, let's see how they do. <laughs> let's see how they do in video performance. Let's see how they do in uh, building apps. Let's see how they do in playing games. Let's see how they do in web browsing and in everyday tasks, messaging, even smaller things. Like are smaller things quicker? Are they the same? Like do they overheat? Does that MacBook Air with no fan and only air cooling, um, not even air cooling, just ambient cooling uh, do the job? We don't know, we'll find out. So. I'm excited to see how these computers do in the future. Um, I may have to fast forward because I don't know if I filled the entire render time of the PC uh, while it's going, but um, yeah, I would say take benchmarks with a grain of salt because one device can do much better in one benchmark and much worse in another. So, you know, let's see, let's see them in hand. I'm real excited to see what Apple does. I think that this is 
almost certainly a really good move for them in terms of getting more performance per dollar to their consumers. And so that's a good thing. There's other weird stuff with like code signing and making it work on Apple Silicon versus making it work on Intel. There's some stuff there. But in terms of just raw performance about getting customers devices that are gonna last for years, I think it's gonna be a big win. And I guess it's really a question of how much of a win is that gonna be? So we'll find out together uh, when these devices ship in a couple days and I will uh, be absolutely sure to <laughs> be checking out a lot of those. Um, I do not have one coming, so I won't be able to give you my impressions of it firsthand. But yeah, if you wanna check out other videos like this, uh, mostly about software productivity, uh, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. Those both really help uh, get the videos in front of more people. Um, I'd love to get more people uh, signed up to the channel. Uh, it would be really great to be able to kind of do put more effort into this channel. So if you like what I'm doing at all, uh, please do one of those and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.